everyone welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what your person is feeling and thinking we're going to pull cards from three different decks today so we can get the messages that you need to hear that the universe wants you to know all right so here what messages do you have for the collective what is their person feeling and thinking right now what is this person not telling the collective what do they need to know we have regret. I wish this never happened. We have absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. And we also have reunion. I will always come back. I'm sorry. We will always come back to each other. So this is what your person may be thinking. For those of you who are not speaking to your person, or if you are speaking to your person, but you guys are just not getting along right now. What messages do you have for the collective? What is their person feeling about them right now? What does the universe want them to know? So we have, I'm afraid it's too late to take action. We also have missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. All right, so this is someone that was holding back. So now, if they didn't react when they were supposed to, or if they didn't act when they were supposed to not react. Um, you could be holding back now because you got tired of waiting for this person. So now they're feeling like this is some sort of missed opportunity. We also have overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. And I want to fix our connection. I feel unclear about where we stand. So somebody wants to know what you're feeling and what you're thinking. They want you to sort of like tell them. If you guys still are together, or if you're serious about a breakup, or if you don't want to be bothered with them anymore, they just want you to say it. They want you to make things clear because this person feels unclear about where y'all stand. All right, so let's get a couple more, and then we're going to move to the next deck. Give me a couple more for the collective. What is the person feeling and thinking right now about them? unappreciated I feel I'm sorry I felt like you didn't care I always feel connected to you and we have ego I let my pride get in the way of our connection I feel pain from the damage I've caused so this is somebody who hurt you who may um their conscience could be bothering them even if they're not apologizing and saying sorry this is by lying I ripped us apart I mess up the good things in my life sometimes and then we have conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. I feel shattered about this. You may find out something about somebody because we also have secrets behind this. And it says, I haven't told you everything. So some of you are waiting for somebody to come clean. But you may already know what's going on. You're just waiting for them to be honest. I feel like some of you are waiting for someone to be honest with you. You're like, I already know what's going on. I just want to know if you're going to be honest. And I feel like if this person is honest with you, that'll tell you whether you actually want to keep this person around and maybe try to work through things and forgive them or not. Okay. So let's jump into this deck. What messages do you have for the collective? What is their person feeling and thinking about them right now? What do they need to know? What is the collective person feeling and thinking about them right now? Somebody feels like you're holding back because you're protecting yourself. So you may be sitting in your safe space and you don't want to be bothered. What messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? What is their person feeling and thinking about them? Somebody wants to get back on track with you. It says time to get back on track and reassess the goals that we are trying to build, the foundation. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? What is their person feeling and thinking about them right now?
somebody feels like you're just working and you're not really paying a lot of attention to them. We also have mental breakdown ahead, about to lose their shit. Somebody is waiting for you to reach out to them. They feel like if you don't reach out to them, that it's, it's stressing them out, it's driving them crazy, they're exhausted. We have breaking point. We also have tired of living a double life, too much drama on both sides. And someone who wants a second chance. So some of you may have walked away from this person or you just stopped communicating with them. For some of you, this person feels like somebody is telling you something and you're listening to them because we have spilling the tea. So somebody could be telling you something and you may be arguing with your person about whatever you've heard. They may feel like you're getting wrong information or the person that you're getting this information from is not trustworthy. Take this how it resonates. This is not going to be everyone's um, story, but for some of you, this person is not wanting you to listen to someone. Someone may be gossiping about them. Okay. I almost lost control of this entire deck. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What is their person feeling and thinking about them? What do they need to know? Oh, this person is missing you sexually. We have love is being restored. Yes, yeah, someone that you're giving the cold shoulder to is still holding on to you. <laughs> Look at your cards. All right, some of you walked away from this person because we have leaving unsent messages. I've written you several texts, but in the end, I chicken out. And we also have praying for better days. Not over. So someone doesn't see this situation as being over with you. We have still holding on to each other. And you may be giving this person the cold shoulder. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign. I just channeled like earth energy, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. And you could be giving this person the cold shoulder. But they are pretend. They may be pretending not to care, but they really want the love between the two of you to be restored here. And they could be thinking about you sexually. We have addicted to sex, intense sexual chemistry. I feel like if you've sent this person news before, they could be looking at them. Maybe just going through them or looking at your pictures, period. All right, let's get some tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What is the person feeling and thinking about them? Oh, the lovers. All right, some of you are dealing with the Gemini. Let's hear what messages do you have for the collective? What is their person feeling and thinking? All right, some of you, you are some of you are a Virgo dealing with the Gemini, and this person wants to talk. So somebody walked away here. Either you walked away from your person or they walked away from you or you guys are just not on, not talking right now, but they want to they want to um come out of this silent treatment with you. This could be a twin flame that you're dealing with or someone still loves you. They want you to know they still love you. Yep, the Ace of Wands. Someone's going to offer an olive branch. Are they going to try to make the situation right or try to talk to you in some sort of way? Because we also have the Six of Cups, Reconciliation. Somebody is waiting on you. They're sort of like waiting for you to make a move here. We also have the Two of Cups. So maybe you could be a Cancer dealing with an Aries. And this person is wanting to know how you feel about them, if you still love them. Especially if you've told this person, maybe through a text message that you don't care anymore. They want to know, are you serious? Or do you still care? Or are you saying this because you're mad? Or are you serious that you don't care anymore? So 
got messages to hear for the collective. What do they need to know? The Seven of Pentacles. Um, someone is really emotional about you. With the Queen of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But if not, you're t you've been turning this person down because the Page of Cups is in the reverse. So however this person is coming towards you is not working. <laughs> like, if they're trying to offer love towards you, you're like, nope, try again. Try in a different way. Come to me seriously. Your back is turned. Your cup is closed. You're not having it. You're like, I don't care if we have time in. I don't care if we're invested in each other. It's like something is not working for you anymore with the tower and the hermit. You've been thinking about it and you're like, okay, enough is enough. I'm tired of just sitting back and putting up with something. You could be a Virgo dealing with an Aries because we have two major arcanas here, the tower and the hermit. What messages do you have for the collective? Somebody is sneaking back towards you because they don't like the fact that y'all keep arguing. This could be an air sign. Some of you are dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius that's sneaking back your way. They want to come out of this conflict with the five of wands reversed. They feel like you're treat you're not somebody feels like you're not being fair to them could be a Libra here that feels like you're not being fair yep the Knight of Wands somebody wants to take action but they don't feel like it's safe they're afraid they feel like you're going to reject them this could be a Sagittarius dealing with a Scorpio because we have two knights here. You know what I'm also seeing here? Um, if you're a Scorpio dealing with a Sagittarius, both of you want to come towards each other. But somebody's holding back or both of you are holding back. Because you don't know what the other person is feeling and thinking. So you're like, nope. You're like, they're going to have to come towards me. I do see movement though because knights are movement. So what I will say is that... Um, you're going to hear from this person. They're going to come towards you. They're reluctant though right now with the Nine of Swords. They have some sort of worry or fear because they've disappointed you. This person may also feel some sort of guilt like they don't know how to fix the situation. It's like no matter how they look at it, whatever they've done, they don't know how to um, fix it to make it right. They may feel like sorry is not good enough. And we also have judgment here at the bottom of the deck. So someone is having a wake-up call about this relationship. And they know that how they've been treating you is not working anymore yet. The Ten of Swords, the Hangman, and the Ten of Wands. This could be a, um, a fire sign. Some of you are a Scorpio dealing with a Leo. And they know like how they used to come towards you in the past. Everything that they did towards you in the past is the reason why you're not wanting to deal with them anymore. So they feel like, okay, I got to fix this situation. Somebody is so stubborn. Look at them. Their back is turned. This king of wands. An Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. They know they got to fix this though. This person's done so much. With the ten of swords here, they may feel like I don't even know what to do to get out of this. They're feeling down about something, though, or they're feeling burdened with the Ten of Wands. This could be other burdens that they have on them. Or other burdens that they have in their life, rather. When I see the hangman here, um, which is Pisces energy. So you could be a Pisces or a Scorpio dealing with a fire sign. This fire sign is going through some things, so... Watch this fire sign coming back towards you wanting your sympathy. Things may be delayed right now, but they're going to make up their mind to come back towards you with the judgment card here. This person feels like they need to re-examine what you guys are going through. 
or you called this person out on something and you got them thinking because of the hangman and the judgment and you may have told this person like you know you hurt me you did this you did that i'm done with you all right let's get one more give me one more for the collective Yep, the full card. Some of you have been thinking about this and thinking about this and you're ready to go in a new direction. This person know it. I feel like they're afraid too. We have the four of pentacles. Somebody is trying to act like they don't care, but they really do because the five of swords is in reverse. So not only are they watching you, this could be the king of cups here. I can't surprise Pisces or a Scorpio. This being sneaky and secretive about something with the moon. This person has their eye on you. Or they're thinking about you a lot. Or like I said, they're looking at pictures. They could be reading old text messages with the page of swords here. They're trying to get some sort of information on how to handle they're trying to see how to go about approaching you somebody wants to approach you but they don't know how to approach you because they've done so much to piss you off they may even feel like coming back and apologizing and trying to reconcile with you is just not going to be enough so they're very um With the Seven of Wands, this person is very standoffish for some reason. It could be a Leo. But still hanging on to you with the Four of Pentacles. Some of you, you've just, you've been thinking about this and you're like, nah, I need to go in a new direction. Like, this is not going to work. Um, some of you are going to be pushed to follow your heart. Whichever way your heart leads you with the Fool card being here. Even if there's some sort of risk in it, you may be like, I don't know where, like I'm leaving this person and I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't know if I'm going to meet anybody new, but I don't even care at this point. <laughs> you may be like, I'm out of here. And they know it. And this person is um, afraid of that with the four of pentacles, seven of wands and the five of swords reverse. Because whenever I see the five of swords reverse, this is someone is like, yeah, I got to get back in there and make this right. Because if I don't. My person is already out the door or I'm I'm going to lose them to someone else. Or if they feel like if they keep waiting around and not trying to make this right, that the more they wait around, the worse it's going to be. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.